What do you hear? What do you say? It's Vertigo Gaming. No, I didn't do the accent good enough. It's like, what do you hear? What do you say? I love Vertigo. Shout out to Vertigo. Anyways, welcome back. This is taped or tapped. Taped. <laughs> taped to tape. Don't be slow, Lunar. <laughs> this is taped short film. And let me see who it's by so I get a proper shout out. It's by Grant Moyer or uploaded. Okay. While preparing to leave for college on his 18th birthday, Kyle stumbles across an old family videotape that changes his life forever. Shout out to Graham Moyer. This was recommended to me, so let's hop in and let's see what we're working with. Sending out a lot of love to you, ladies and gentlemen. And all as always, I'm enjoying this Frightening Friday series. It's great. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. The greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. Roald Dahl? Why have I heard of that? Is that a philosopher? There's other co quotes. Okay, I'm taking a quick break because I actually... Roald Dahl? It's a British novelist. Ah! Pretty much a philosopher. Roald Dahl. Yeah, I've heard of him. This better shake me to my core. <laughs> Nice little piano. He got the dual monitor set up too. Ya boy. <coughs> what is it? The Living Dead? I am delighted to inform you the committee of missions has admitted you to textbooks close. Nice little home we got here. Turn the dust off. Oh, I remember that with the PlayStation. Oh my gosh, you guys remember doing that with the PlayStation? Two years. Bro, what? While preparing to leave for college, he stumbles across an old family videotape. I swear the videotape box he picked up said The Living Dead. Who stored that in there? Honey, is 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 this on for this thing? That's yeah, I think it's just the you. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that was no. Okay. Beautiful, and she's a great cook. <laughs> Making my favorite pasta. Look at that. Oh my god, look at the noodles. There you go. Dante. El dente. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. That's really good. Put too much cilantro. I'll figure that out. <laughs> I would love to. Come on. The acting's getting me, man. Now, camera, I need to get some plates out. Oh, and do that. Okay. Honey. You already set the table. Look at this. It's oh, beautiful. Do you need you to put the camera down though? Because I need. I just did. I just I'm did. gonna. Well, yeah. I, I need. <laughs> no, he, he laughed the same. Like each clip, it was the same exact laugh. Sir, sure. can, can you please put that away? They lit the. Trying to have a nice dinner. Put it away. Oh, do, please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, 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 okay. Please, I, I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate. I know. I want to celebrate too by eating. Look at this, this is my beautiful wife, but she's an awesome cook, and look what Thank she did, you. she moved candles. Thank you. I did. Oh put it down, but put okay. it down. Okay. Sorry. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I just can't Thank help you. Bro, are they in the I dark do. eating that? That's pretty good. The stove, I'm something on the stove is still cooking. Oh. You know how when you finish your plate and there's like that one little, little smidgen of a noodle left? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not letting that one go. Mm. That's going in the chamber right here. In the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave it on your plate. Do not leave those. So, honey, I know, but yeah. 
said no gifts. I didn't get you anything. Now I feel bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay because... Just, just look at it. 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 Please, please, please. Yeah? Yeah? I love yes. them. Yes, of course I love them. Let me get a picture of you with them. Thank you. I'm not buying it. I'm not. His reaction to this is like, it's not good. Yes, you love it. Look at you. you this this does, does not does not seem like a real reaction. <laughs> He's trying though. <laughs> Bro, what in the? Okay, so up until this point, I really thought the wife was not in on it. So this actually caught me off guard. This caught me off guard a bit. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's supposed to be like some sort of film, some sort of like film technique where they keep panning back to the sun. It's not, it's not working for me because his reaction does not seem like realistic to it. I could be wrong though. Like, maybe someone actually reacts like. <laughs> okay. It just does not feel real. I can't buy it. Come right here, seeming a little bit real. <laughs> Unnecessary shot. I don't like this. That one's cool. Kyle, we're home. Oh, perfect uh, synchronicity, perfect timing. What? Just telling you that we're home. Come on up here, we got a minute. Bro, take Kyle, the. Did you hear me? Yes, I, I heard you, Dad. <sighs> None of us need to comment on it. None of us. No one say anything. The best, the absolute best hiding spot for this. The uh, spectacular. D okay. Remember the premise of this. While preparing to leave for college. The little sweater. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming to. For the setup. The little sweater he has says the college he's going to, so we know what college he's leaving for. It says Harvard. Har Harvard. Nice. I said Harvard. 
Harvard. Great. So this is why I'm not there. No. Bro. <laughs> this is a Harvard decision right here. My boy put the videotape between the couch cushion. Big brain. Look at this shit. Barely fit in there, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Harvard. Harvard. Bro. Get the fuck out of here. And that's where he chooses to place that shit? <sighs> My man is traumatized. Thanks, thanks, guys. The big one eight, buddy. How does it feel to be an adult now? <laughs> the you big like one eight. Now? Huh? You know, you get in trouble now. You're not going to juvie. You're going to the big house. <laughs> you're all grown up. Hey, I know everyone says this, but it really does feel like yesterday that you were going to preschool and now you're in college. And time needs to slow down because this is too crazy. And just think, he's gonna meet a cute girl. He's gonna finish his studies. He's gonna get a good job. He's gonna buy a house. He's gonna marry that cute girl. <laughs> and he's gonna raise a family just like we did, honey. Ugh. Stop, I've gotta finish this cake. Oh, you know, I can't forget his uh, present. I'm gonna go get that. Oh, can we do it after cake, though, please? I don't want him to leave without it, so I'm gonna go get it. You can go sit down, Kyle. I just he's... have to finish decorating the top. So he's going to the basement to get the cake, or to get the present. And as he goes to the basement, he's going to see that the boy hooked up the VCR because he'd even put the VCR back. So he's going to wonder, I wonder, what was he watching, huh? Then he's going to what, like take a little take a little seat on the couch and then see the tape or see the tape box. Oh, I forgot all about the tape box. Where did he put that? Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. It's gonna be the tape. Go ahead, open it. Bro, he is the <laughs> bro. In like the family sense, and not not exactly the actor. He is the worst actor for in terms of not trying to act suspicious around his family. Not in terms of the actual acting, but like in terms of if this was a real scenario. He's not doing a good job of that. See it off. His dad looks so cheery. Okay, I'm talking a lot of crap about this. I apologize. That, my friend, is my old camcorder. Now, I know <laughs> we said no to gifts because tuition is not going to pay for itself, right? It's the but I felt like it was fitting to pass on the torch. <coughs> the family business. It probably doesn't actually work. But I'll tell you what, put it on your bookshelf. Use it as inspiration to remind yourself to capture those moments that are most important to you. <laughs> Heck no. Your father, Kyle. Look at bro, he, bro. How have none of them said what's wrong with him yet? Bro said. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I think he likes it a little too much. <laughs> what's the progress on that cake? Oh, it's all ready. Don't rush me. He got the camcorder of doom. Is now know. she's going to look up from her phone? Oh, little 18 year old. Oh, here we go. Ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kai. It's just weird that my birthday was two days ago. And now I'm watching this. Happy birthday to you. Throw his cake. Throw his face in the cake. 
Don't tell me it ends like this. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. The credits. Let's read the credits. We barely seen Emma Price. Ryan Howard was the victim. We didn't even see his face. Okay, okay. Written and directed by Grant Moyer. Okay, Grant. That was okay, okay. Okay, okay, Grant. I'll give you some I'll give you some props. It was good. Like creative energy that went into it. I'm not gonna completely talk down on it. I I also don't necessarily think it's bad. I think some of the <laughs> some of the acting there was just strange from our main protagonist, but uh, I feel like the horror aspect could have been done a little bit crazier. Like if if like the dad tried to include him in on the family business, and like not gonna lie, the sister had one little scene. Like she was not significant at all. Like that that scene where she popped in the kitchen. It was almost like let's just add another extra for no reason. Like if she wasn't there, it would it wouldn't have made a difference. Like when his dad was calling him to go upstairs, I honestly expected it to be the dad and the mom. That's it. Like I didn't even expect there to be a sister. <laughs> but then the sister popped up and it's like she served no purpose but for being on her phone. That was that was okay. All right. Yeah. It was okay. It was okay. Well, Thanks for submitting this one to me. Shout out to Grant again. Grant, if you want me to take down my video, don't mind. <laughs> and much love and moonlight, guys.